some surprising results in the first contest in the U.S. presidential race. The voters have spoken in the Midwestern state of Iowa. CCTV's Nathan King is in Des Moines, the state capital, with more. Wow, what a cork, as Iowa's reputation for delivering surprise results certainly worked on the Republican side and nearly on the Democratic side as well. Let's take you through the numbers. Well, Donald Trump, who was in the lead here for weeks, actually got beaten by conservative rival Ted Cruz, 28% uh, to 24%. Ted Cruz did a good job of getting out the vote. He actually visited all 99 counties in Iowa to rustle up votes. Donald Trump took it on the chin, said he's going to fight it again. He's well ahead in the next state of New Hampshire. The big surprise, though, also on the Republican side was Marco Rubio, a much more positive centrist senator from Florida. He did very well, just behind Trump by 1%, 23%. So that's going to be very interesting to see how he fares. On the Democratic side, though, a complete nail-biter. Hillary Clinton, the former First Lady Senator and U.S. Secretary of State, nearly got beaten by self-avowed socialist Bernie Sanders by two-tenths of 1%. Quite incredible uh, narrow victory. She's calling it a victory. She's saying it's a sigh of relief that she's breathing in Iowa. Um, and Bernie Sanders also calling it a victory, saying there's a political revolution started here. No one knew really who he was when he first came on the ballot. And to hold Hillary Clinton uh, here in Iowa is a success as well. So going into New Hampshire, what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at people dropping out already. One on the Republican side, uh, Mike Huck Huckabee. One on the Democratic side, Martin O'Malley. There will be more uh, victims too in the coming weeks and months. Jeb Bush, of course, whose father and brother were both president, fared very badly here. Will he drop out of the race? We'll wait and see. Uh, governors like Chris Christie from New Jersey, John Kasich from Ohio, also under threat as well. The state of the polls in New Hampshire, uh, basically we have uh, Donald Trump with a big lead over Ted Cruz, but also Bernie Sanders with a big lead over Hillary. So whoever came second here, it could be first uh, going into New Hampshire. Exciting stuff. Nathan King, CCTV, Des Moines, Iowa.